Daddy, it's Ask an Ally time. Yeah. Carla, <laughs> um, the question is, what are the things someone should know about communicating with um, First Nations people? Oh, there's so much to know, isn't there, Auntie Munya? And you've done another um, Ask Auntie on, on this. So many differences in communication styles, which we, we, we teach people. Uh, we also teach about Aboriginal English, and we teach the R3 method for communication, reflect, relate, reconcile. And then the biggest tip, once you've learnt all of that, you've looked at your unconscious bias, you've looked at your cultural baggage. I'm looking at mine every week, Auntie Munya. I'm <laughs> learning a new thing. Uh, the, the biggest tip that we have for people is to then to be your authentic self and how I often find myself doing that is um, really getting into the, the energy and the, the I guess the, the groove and the tone of the person that you're talking with. So apply all the strategies that, that we teach and then if I'm sitting with the person you know, if they're not looking at me, so no, no indirect eye contact, I lower my gaze. If their tone is soft, then, then my tone goes softer. So, but done in an authentic, not a gammon way, not yeah. a, <laughs> uh, done in a really uh, authentic way. So I very much, if I'm working in community, I very much follow people's leads, Auntie Manya. Yes. And I guess it's bringing that, that, um, that humility and authenticity to the way that you communicate. Uh, so that would be, and just always, and listening, <laughs> shutting up, which is not always easy for me, but allowing for silence, which is a big part of communication, isn't it? Absolutely, be prepared for lots of silence with First Nations people. Yeah, so great, great question. And, and it's, a, it's a learning that we love to share and explore with people. Um, thank you for the question. Ask an ally. In the illegal corner.